Hello and welcome to Themey. Themey is a Unity 2D asset for your game that lets you set up your sprites and other art to be replaced or changed at runtime by your users. A quick demonstration, this is using the Unity 2D uh, platformer sample, a recent one from 2017-2018. Uh, recent when I recorded this anyway. So I have installed Themey here. I'll show you how we do that. It's very simple uh, in a moment. So we're going to quickly play the game, see what it looks like first, and then we're going to change some of the graphics and see what that looks like. So here's the game as it looks normally. This is Ellen. Uh, she jumps over stuff and does, you know, usual 2D platformer type things. Um, we can have a look at one of the other levels that has a box. So I can show you a simple uh, change first. When I get the screen, scenes, there we go. Scene four has a nice simple box. So at this point she has her gun, which was also helpful. So here we go. Oh, whoops, if I can hit the, bo the button. So we go through here and look, there's a box and you can push it. You can see how it's styled and we can push it off there and we can jump on it, etc. So what does Themey do? Well, let's go back to Themey. Uh, so this is a runtime change that we're going to make. So here we are playing the game uh, and I've changed this to add a theme button in the menu here. And look, oh, there's that box. Quelle surprise. So here we're going to change our box. We've got a start camera. Hi! And uh, so we're going to take a photo. Why don't we do that shot? Uh, hi! Yeah, that's thoroughly embarrassing, but hey, it's a video. So we can save. See, it highlights the need to save. Uh, we can do a bit of image editing, you know, make me even dopier looking. There we go, brilliant. Um, and we can also um, save. We can also uh, load images, see how they look in sprites, uh, untheme them, use different cameras. Uh, load other allows us to load from uh, the native file system. This has a compatibility with Android, iOS, uh, Windows, Mac, uh, Linux, usual stuff. And um, as you can see here, we've got lots of different things that we can theme. So let's have a little look and see whether that worked in our game. We're just going to jump through to the uh, zone four again so we can see it in the box because that's where that box appears and what we should see if i hit the if i hit the button again is that the box now looks different there we go doesn't the box look much much yeah not better <laughs> so there we go that's changing the graphics in the game um the reason I keep quitting out of the game is because this uh, this sample doesn't let you quit back to the menu. You have to go all the way back here. Now, what about animated sprites? That's the new change that I've just made from the last video I recorded. So yes, that all works now. Here we go in. Let's retheme Ellen. Um, this has got drag and mouse wheel and all the usual stuff. Um, this uh, GUI that's presented here is uh, replaceable. You can change all of it, obviously. Um, and I've got different levels of stuff to do that. This is These are all the animations for, for Ellen. So let's say we want to replace all of her... Uh, what should we do? Let's do the idle animations. So we don't want to replace all of them, which we could do. Uh, let's replace some of them. Uh, there's idle 001, and we go all the way through to... Where's the last one? Uh, 29. So there we go. And I would you try to have a better sprite. Obviously, your users, perhaps children, uh, perhaps uh, meme loving uh, not children, uh, will obviously um, uh, have some perhaps better graphics. Maybe they'll have drawn something themselves if they're children with cartoons and crayons and stuff. That's what my kids like to do. So let's see how this works. I'm going to take lots and lots of photos. Uh, how many? It says at the top 20, uh, 15 photos. So we got one, two, I'll do a bit of animation here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There we go, all 15 sprites. So now when we go back to the menu, look, oh, there she is. Isn't that looks really yeah okay whatever so that's her animating in the menu and of course when we start the game let's go back to the, just the start menu now we can see her animating properly now alpha's all dealt with um i will provide an option to uh, uh to not do the alpha 
um, but uh, it seems best this way so far. And uh, yeah, there we go, we're moving through the scenes. So let's have a quick look at what was needed to set up Themy in the project. So most of it comes down to one scriptable object, this thing over here, uh, the theme settings. Uh, let's just delete that, gone. So if you'd installed Themy uh, from the Asset Store, that's mostly what you get. Um, and what we would do next is we might say, oh, let's let's make the um, let's import all of our prefabs into Themy. Now I'm going to import the pushable box prefab first, just because it becomes the top menu item and it looks better that way. So there we go. We've done one. It says uh, we've created it for you to configure. Uh, the scene name is wrong. Uh, perhaps we want to fix that, so we can click up here and set the scene name and now it's start theme -y. done that's a uh, start theme because it's just the menu item uh, sorry the scene name that was previously supplied with the asset except with that uh, that theme menu button added so now let's do every single prefab in the entire game add to theme you can also drag and drop onto the scriptable object uh, it does directories it does prefabs it does spreadsheets it does all that sort of thing so here we go we've got how many 40 static sprites and 16 animated sprites there's ellen uh, Ellen, it knows about uh, animations, animation clips, animation controllers, uh, etc. Um, you can delete stuff, you know, usual sorts of things here. So now when we uh, run the game, um, we should find it, let's face it, identical to how it was just now. Uh, so let's check, uh, we come in here. Oh, actually, you know what? That theme button, it fires a menu button over here, uh, options, 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 theme button, there's the button, and I provide convenience method on the scriptable object. Uh, that's not the right place, there's the button, there we go. Convenience of methods on the scriptable object for doing things like jumping into the, um, jumping straight in uh, to the theming system. You can even say, I'd like to jump to that particular item to theme it and then come back to the current scene or to the default scene, which we configured at the, just now with a context sensitive menu. Uh, or you can even say, um, uh, give me a call back on this delegate when I'm, when you're, when the user exits the thing. So we've saved that. So now we should be able to, when the save finishes, do, 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 it's taking a long time. There we go. And we should be able to go into our theme and there we go. It's all as it was before. And when we start the game, It'll look just as it did before. Um, the reason the static box was themed was a, uh, a prefab I supply, which is just one one method call to say theme everything in the uh, theme everything in the scene. So where are our prefabs? There's our themey replaceable. So there was one of those in each of the game levels, and Ellen herself, things like. Um, prefabs that were going to be instantiated at runtime, you will put um, a component on them, themed animated sprite. Um, there is scripts under here to make sure this all sets itself up appropriately. So let's just move that component, component to do it again. Themed, uh, themed. So we've got animated image, things like menus, uh, animated sprites, things like Ellen, and static sprites if you want to do them in prefabs, for example, uh, that are going to be static. So it's an animated sprite. Uh, and there we go, it's all set itself up appropriately. There's the Ellen animated controller, and uh, that's it. So, as I said, this works Unity, uh, iOS, Android, uh, desktop versions. Uh, it uses cameras, it can integrate with images you've already saved. Um, got a load of plans for future bits and pieces. Happy to hear all feedback. Let me know your thoughts, and hoping to come to the Unity Asset Store soon. Thanks very much for your attention. Talk to you on the forums. Bye-bye.